All right. Hello, everyone, wherever you may be. Welcome to today's tutorial. Today, I will be showing you the finishing product of our apron that we have been making and drafting. As you can see, this is the uh, this is the finishing apron we did. So this is what we did. The personalized um, embroidery that we did. We have the name on it, and this is just a very nice gift idea. A lot of people that I've spoken to actually love this idea, and actually it's for those um, young girls in uh, that will start food during the wedding. So it's just a kind of um, gift to give to those young girls to tell them thank you for the wonderful job that they did. So this was it. So if this is your first time you are actually watching this video, please you should go to the YouTube channel and watch the uh, apron tutorial, a tutorial on how to uh, draft the apron, and after drafting the apron, how to cut it and how to sew it. There was also a video we posted on how to uh, the embroidery of this uh, uh, apron. So uh, if you if you are interested in uh, embroidery, you can go to uh, your local store and ask them which type of machine you think you can use as a beginner, or if you are planning to make um, a business out of it, they can actually help you out. So this uh, this is what we did, the finishing products, and uh, I hope uh, you guys like it. I hope you guys like it. And so I am going to actually uh, post the picture on my Instagram, the Unis Design. And so or you can as well uh, go to my uh, YouTube, um, my Instagram page and see what I have been creating. Uh, Unis slash design. That is it. Yeah. Okay. So let me show you other other apron that I make as well. Let me just uh, fold this away. Uh, and uh, I'm really happy with this project. I hope you guys are happy with it as well. So you can go ahead and create your own um, project. And if you uh, actually, the thing is that you don't have to always do things yourself. If you can get someone to do it for you, it's fine. And if you want us to make for you, that's also very fine. You can get in contact with us in uh, our, our YouTube channel, this channel that you are watching right now, or at Instagram. So you can get, uh, I will leave my um, contact details on the description box. All right, so let me show you other one that I created.
this is other one that I've created actually. As you can see, the fabric is, is the same fabric, the same type of fabric, as a matter of fact. But the difference is the, the fabric is so unique that the back of the fabric is beautiful and the front of the fabric is beautiful. So actually with this fabric, you don't really know which one is the right side of the fabric, which one is the left side of the fabric. So, like what we just did, we use this color. So, we use the side of the fabric to make this apron. So, now I actually turn it the other side and I use the other side to make this apron. You can see both colors is fine. I just want to differentiate this, this um, apron. That's why I use this fabric. Actually, made this. But the difference between this uh, this uh, embroidery, you can see, it has the name of the bride on it and the date that uh, this uh, client is going to get uh, married. So that is actually the uh, uh, the embroidery. You can see it has a very it has a round embroidery with butterfly and with um, flowers. So the name is there. Also, we have this logo on it, Superwoman, and the bride, and the date of the wedding. So, that is, yeah, I really love it, but the point is, with this apron, this is a surprise. Um, the parents of this young lady making it as a surprise for her. So, on that day, where they will be eating, um, dinner of course she will be looking for something to wrap herself up and then the mother will just present this apron for her so i really hope that she will love it yeah so what i did with this um apron uh i did this uh, embroidery and so with the pocket remember the what we did first with the other embroidery like this this apron actually you have the pocket uh, in the chest side of the embroidery, the bust area, where you have, that's where you have the pocket, and the name is in the side of the pocket, it's in the, the left side of the wearer, that's where I put the name on it, but then, if you look at the, or oh, this one, this one is specially uh, designed for the bride, and that is why the logo is here, and then, the pocket, I shift the pocket a little bit down. You can see, I put it, I put the pocket in um, the waist area, and I made the pocket a little bit uh, uh, deeper. So that because this girl understood, she um, she loves pocket. In any dress that she has, she has pocket. Even when she asked me to make a dress for her, she has pocket. It doesn't matter. What kind of dress it is, she loves pocket. I even wonder if her wedding dress has pockets. I have no idea. I don't think so. But anyway, that's just how it is. So uh, I thought, you know what, let me make the pocket a little bit deeper. Maybe she wants to put her phone or any other thing that she wanted to put in there. And the pocket would be deep enough to put all the accessories that she needs, that she needs to put there. So that is it. And if you look at that, you can see it's very neat. And if you look at the back of the apron, you can see this is how I actually did it. Of course, I use a um, washable chalk to actually uh, draw whatever I want to draw to mark the pocket area, as you can see. Got it. This is how the pocket area from here is supposed to start, but I add extra about an inch with it so that the pocket can be deeper for me so because she will love that so for the fact that it's not as well the boss area so I decided to make it deeper so that she can she can use this apron after her wedding so she, when she's at home or things like that she can always put her, her phone or whatever iPad in there whenever she's cooking so it is uh, decided to make it a uh, deep enough so you can see this is the um, face that I did with the other one, the facing was quite small because, uh, yeah, the facing was actually quite small. 
or just somewhere here like this. But this one is white, it's a bigger. I just uh, decided to uh, do it a little bit uh, bigger to cover up uh, the embroidery so that everything would be so neat. So you can see, you can see it is very, very neat. So if you want, if, if, whatever, however you want to wear this um, apron, it's up to you. If you want to wear both sides, you can wear this side or you wear this side, it's up to you. But when you want to wear this side, maybe it's a good idea to maybe put uh, another pocket side if you really want to do like a uh, um, uh, invisible uh, apron or you want to use a, I say invisible apron. Oh my goodness. And anyway, if you want to use both sides, then it's up to you. You can just put the pocket here. And that's what you can also do. You can do it by yourself when you are making your own apron. But in this case, I am not doing that. I am just uh, leaving it like this. And I actually love it. I love this color. And actually, I love this fabric being the combination. The combination is very good. So, this is the right now. I'm using this side. So, with the other one, I use this side. So, both sides, the fabric is really, really very good. So if you want to have a gift idea, if you cannot make it yourself, you can always get contact with us. So I will put our contact in the description box. So you can always um, make an uh, apron like this for the bride. Or you can have other ideas. If you have other ideas that you want to do, you can always uh, do it. All right. So this is what I'm up to. So I just let you guys see. So that is it, my dear. So I hope you guys actually enjoy this tutorial, and um, uh, I hope you guys uh, can look for something like this to give away to someone as a gift. Could be your friend, your 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 daughter, or your wife, whoever. It is very nice to make something uh, nice for people. And people will love it. They will never forget it. They will keep it as a remembrance of that person. So I uh, am happy with it. I hope you viewers love it. And that is it for today for me. So thank you very much for watching this video. And for those subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing. And thank you, thank you, thank you. And. I would say enjoy your day wherever you may be and then um, I will see you in the next video. Okay then, bye.